Hello everyone and welcome to Lesson 1.6 in Global Politics. We will talk about the disadvantages and advantages of globalization. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to both describe the advantages of globalization and describe the disadvantages of globalization. So this lesson should be kind of short. So here on this particular slide, we have the four major advantages of globalization. First, there is an increase in economic growth. Secondly, there's an improved standard of living. Thirdly, most countries tend to become more democratic after globalization. And lastly, there tends to be more cultural development. So looking at these a little bit deeper, in terms of economic uh, growth, there's access to more markets. Workers and resources are encouraged to grow because you know there's lots and lots of trade that is going on. So people are opening themselves up because not every country in the world can produce everything. So we have to learn to share and get along and that increases economic growth. As of course, with economic growth, there comes an increase in standards of living. Workers on growing economies have more money to spend. So you start to spend on luxury items where you can have vacations and things like that. Globalized countries becoming more democratic. Countries financially open tend to be more politically open. And then lastly, cultural development. Globalized cultures tend to embrace modern ideas such as women's rights, worker rights, minority rights, those type of things. So uh, this intends to increase and improve the social status and the social network of people as well. So globalization has four positive benefits, economic growth, increase in standard of living, more democracy, and in cultural improvement and development. And so now we're going to take a look at the disadvantages of globalization. And here are the first three. And the first, four, first one is growing wealth gap. This one really doesn't need that much of an explanation, but just knowing that wealth is concentrated in the wealthy elite, that creates a wealth gap. When you think about things like Jeff Bezos and how he makes thousands of dollars a minute, you know, and that's just continuing this wealth gap. <laughs> so, I mean, it's there. Wage competition. Well, we know that workers compete against each other for, for money, but you know, when workers compete with workers in other countries, it results in lower wages. Because you have to keep this in mind. If I'm a company and I'm, if I'm an American company, do I keep my factory here in the United States where I have to pay people 30,000, 40,000, $50,000 a year plus benefits, or do I move it to a country like Vietnam where wages are low because it's a communist country, it provides socialized medicine, there's no health insurance I have to provide, and I don't have to pay them $50,000 a year. So that's what we're talking about with wage competition. And then of course, if a country, uh, you know, countries threaten to leave, excuse me, this should be uh, companies threaten to leave a nation, and this could cause wages to lower. So if, there's a, if, if I was employing a lot of people in Vietnam, and then Vietnam started to regulate me and I threatened to pull out, then I could actually keep the wages lower in Vietnam. And then lastly, in terms of price competition, prices are lower to encourage people to buy your nation's products. And so this is you know, designed to try to get people to buy local. But keep in mind that price competition, it benefits companies and not the people. And the reason being is because companies can actually afford the trading costs. People cannot. And so you gotta think about this. Companies play around with prices and it only benefits them, not really the people. And then lastly, these two disadvantages of globalization are kind of, the, I don't want to say, but I like a better term is I think really are the harshest. And worst, first one is regulation avoidance. Companies re relocate to countries where regulations are less strict. It's a reality because you got to think, when you regulate, it costs money. So for example, like in Flint, I'm going to use that as an example, so hopefully this isn't uh, hurtful for anybody, but like in Flint, um, regulations do cost money. So if you ask Nabisco to do something, it causes them to have to increase a cost, you know, so that means they have to shift that cost to the people. So that means Nesquik will, you know, the chocolate and everything will increase in price because of these regulations. However, if they just close the plant in Flint, which also increases unemployment there, and then moves the plant to Mexico, where perhaps the uh, regulations environmentally aren't as stringent, then regulation avoidance. That's what companies will do. They'll just move to another country, which allows them to pollute water or pollute the air. And then lastly, cultural, uh, excuse me, uh, globalization actually has a lack of cultural diversity. And what we mean by this is that, for example, English is a dominant global language. 
non-Western companies find it hard to compete, uh, excuse me, find it hard to compete in Western capitalist model political system. So non-Western countries, like uh, any countries in the East, where perhaps capitalism isn't normal, they find it more difficult to be able to get into a global system that's dominated and by a Western idea of capitalism. And then, of course, English is becoming more and more dominant because of Hollywood. You know, so we need to make sure that we understand that. So there's people's cultures are dying. And so there's a lack of cultural diversity as a result of globalization. And there you have it. Those are, this completes uh, lesson 1.6, which are the disadvantages and advantages of globalization. So can you describe the advantages of globalization? And can you describe the disadvantages? If you can, to pat yourself on the back, you did an amazing job. At this point, find any activity for lesson 1.6 and then complete it and move on to 1.7. Thank you so much and have a great day.